By 1945, the Nazis were on the run. The Allies were flying high and about to roll over Germany's flat western borders. But in the deep southern heartland of Hitler's Reich loomed the threat of the unknown. Fears grew of a last-ditch Nazi fight back in the Alps. In terms of a defense, uh, it was an ideal place to defend yourself. This one this was high mountains, very difficult terrain. How could you wage a war with tanks there? Almost not possible. Very low experience from the Allied side um, to wage a war uh, in this mountain region. A lot of experience from the German side, so a lot of elite troops there. They knew there were a lot of SS troops in Austria, so uncertainty. Amid such uncertainty came evidence of the Western Allies' worst fears. Neutral Switzerland bordered part of the German Alpine region. The American intelligence chief in Bern, Alan Dulles, had a grim report. It suggested that a fanatical elite was massing in the mountains. A hard call led by those with death heads on their caps the merciless SS would spearhead a desperate guerrilla war from an Alpine fortress. It was the very fact that the Bavarian and Austrian mountains seemed to lend themselves so well to guerrilla warfare that this horrible idea, because it represented a nightmare for Allied military strategists, that this horrible idea started to gain currency. The horrible idea was an ultimate nightmare for the advancing allies. An Alpenfestung, or Alpine fortress, extending into northern Austria. Defended by thousands of troops, stealing themselves for a final do or die fight for the fatherland. Their fingers on the triggers of an arsenal of secret weapons hidden in crags and crannies. At this time, in, say, in January 1945, they didn't know what was going on when they entered Germany. And they were uh, taken by surprise by the Battle of Bulge, was a German counterattack in December 1944, and they didn't expect that. So th the question was, yes, we have won the war, this is clear, but, I mean, are we able to cross the Rhine? Are there some secret weapons still? Is there somehow a secret counterattack prepared? So, so it was all uncertain. Uncertainty and fears of so-called wonder weapons were understandable. The Germans had already developed ballistic missiles and jet planes. And other more fearsome, more destructive horrors were on Nazi drawing boards. What the Allies decided to do was to be prudent 